At the end of this video, you will learn a simple method for using ControlNet and Automatic 1111 to create stunning AI animations for your videos. We will achieve the results you see on your screen. I'm going to use the original video that I found on Pixabay here. So I'll close this here to get started. I'll drag and drop the original video into After Effects to resize it and export it into batch frames. From here, I'll drag and drop the same video into this icon to make a composition to make a timeline. I'll go ahead to trim this to use only 10 seconds of the original video. And I'll go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. From here, most importantly, export this in a batch sequence, so either JPEG or PNG is fine. Set the output and I'll hit render. Next, I'll be using automatic 1111 for the animation. Up here, I'll be using the image to image tab. So click on this and scroll down to open the frames we exported as batch frames. I'll click the first frame and drag it into the image to image tab. Include a positive prompt as well. Uh, make sure the positive prompt describes something similar to the image you want to animate. Next, I'll be going for the checkpoint model. This will stylize the video depending on the visual style you want to use. So I recently came across an awesome tool here on this platform called Shaker AI, which has many high quality SD models. Unlike Civit AI, I realized this platform does not feature any not safe for work content. There's a huge selection of high quality models which are realized for creative designs in various fields. This includes portraits, illustration, architecture, anime, and even e-commerce. On the left, once you join the membership, the member exclusive models can be used for commercial purposes, which is very awesome. Browsing through the platform for some time now, I have been impressed with a few models like the real cartoon realistic model. Another favorite of mine is here, which is Epic Photogasm. I'll provide a link to all my favorite models in the description. For this animation, I'll go to the search box and type in the model Aniverse. I'll click to search and we can find it here as the checkpoint. This is another positive model, very good for concept art, anime style and animations. I'll click to download this and I'll save this into the automatic 1111 directory under your models, stable diffusion directory. Inside my SD 1.5 model checkpoint, I have this already downloaded and renamed as Aniverse. I'll go ahead to generate an image with a checkpoint Aniverse, which we just downloaded back to automatic 1111 and make sure you change your checkpoint to use the Aniverse model. In the positive prompt, I have also modified the prompt just a little bit and included some basic lores for some more details and style. I'll leave the negative prompt blank. I'll scroll all the way down and in the settings, I'll begin by changing the sampling method to use the Jurela A. Also, I'll go ahead to change the sampling steps to have 50. To get a width and height, I'll use the icon here to match the dimensions from the original image. So this will be 512 by 768 and I'll keep this locked. Next I'll go to resize by just to add a little bit of upscale. So I'll push this up to 1.5 and I'll back to resize too. I'll go to the CFG scale which I'll keep at 7 and also the denoising strength, I'll leave this at default, which is uh, 0 0.75. I'm uh, still scrolling down for add detail extension. I'll include this, which will help to fix common issues like distorted faces throughout the animation. Enable Animate Stiff and select the model YOLO 8S. Next down is the Control Net extension. I'll drop down the menu for Control Net. Enable Control Net for the first unit. I'll select the Tile Control Net. For the preprocessor, I'm going to leave this at none and make sure to change control net is more important. Don't forget to enable pixel perfect. So this settings is experimental and you guys can also go ahead to experiment with your settings to see what gives you the best results. Next, we go to the second unit, which is unit number two. I'll enable control net once again, enable pixel perfect. In here, I'm going to select the model to be temporal net. This will help to keep the consistency throughout the animation and also select control net is more important. Select the third unit for the control net unit, enable control net, pixel perfect. I will use the soft edge type control net. I leave the processor at default. For the model, this will be automatically updated to use the soft edge model. And make sure to also select control net is more important. 
scroll up and I'll hit generate to see the results we get by using the checkpoint universe to generate an image. Uh, from the image I have here, you can go ahead to generate as many times or a few more times to get the result you want. So I'll do this a few more times to see what I can go ahead with. I like this, I'm impressed with this look, so I'll keep this to use for the animation. Next, we need all the frames to transform into the style to give us the animation look. So to do this, I'll drag in here the folder we have already for the batch frames. I'll copy the input file path, paste this into the input directory. Next, I'll open an empty folder. I'll copy the path as well and paste it into the output directory. I'll scroll up and hit generate to start the animation process. To keep track, the frames will be saved into the output folder after each image is generated. I'll go ahead to skip to the final results of all the frames which I have here as completed. Since these are all in single frames, we need to have a video file from the batch sequence. So to rename all these frames, I'll be using the software here which is Back Utility. I'll go back to the output folder, copy the path here, come back to the software Back Utility, paste this here and hit enter. Control A to select all the frames. Come down here, use the button to remove all the naming until PNG. Next, I will use the prefix image and I'll change the numbering mode here to suffix. That's all we need using the software. I'll click on rename, okay, and okay. From here, we can see all this is renamed accordingly in the output folder. Next, I'll use Topaz AI to make this into a video file. Select all the frames once again, drag and drop them into the software Topaz Video AI. This will automatically convert this into a video file if you have all of this renamed accordingly. I'll put in the settings for Topaz. I'll keep this at a 60 frame per second. I'll use the enhancement button, which I'll change to manual down here. I'll push this to 100, also this to 100. Uh, sharpen this to 10. Down here, I'll move this all the way to 100 again and bring this up to 30. From here, I'll scroll down. Also, I'll change the format here to H.264 and I'll keep this at MP4. So I'll go ahead to use the export as and we can see the difference from the original image and also the enhanced settings using the details. To find the final video, go ahead to right click, open in Explorer and we have the final video here. I'll click to open this. And this is looking gorgeous using the 60 frame per second along with Anivers checkpoints to convert a normal video into an AI animation. If you come across any challenges, make sure the resize dimensions match up to the image generation. Don't forget to leave a like and I hope this helps you guys to stylize any videos to some amazing ideas. And I'll see you guys in another video.